first things first, we need to get this truck in the air just a little bit. Come up here on the rear side. Good. Now, grab yourself some jack stands. Take your jack stand and put it right underneath the axle of the truck. Now, we're going to lower this down just where it rests in those jack stands, but not take the jack completely out. All right, next, we're going to take these lug nuts off. And just to make life easy. Okay, let's get this tire off. Okay, next thing you're going to want to do is find the reservoir for your brakes. And just take that off so you can give air to when you're going to push those uh, pistons back in the calipers. And you might just want to lay yourself a rag in there to make sure that uh, if anything spills out, you're going to catch it. Now, let's get back to those brakes. All right, now, we're in the rear brakes. And you can do a visual inspection here. As you can see it's kind of creeping up. And there's that back pad. So if you're only going to do your uh, new pads... I'm going to take off this part here, and there's two bolts back here, I believe. All right, we're on the back side of the wheel. These are the two bolts that you need to remove in order to pull the uh, caliper top part off to get to your pads. And this is your brake line. Make sure uh, do not dangle it from this. Just take those two bolts loose and off, and this whole thing will come off, and I'll show you. All right, so both of these nuts here, they are a 10 millimeter. So you can get yourself back in there. 10 millimeter on both of those. So we'll just get in here and we'll break these loose. There. Just make life a little faster here. All right, there's one. And there's two. Okay, then you have this clip right here. You're going to have to push it down to get it out. So push it down, move the pad holder forward, the caliper. There it is. And off she will come, just like that. You're just going to replace your pads on the first one, this outside one. There's these little tabs. Take a screwdriver, get in there, and just right up on them. There we go. Now, yeah, there we go. Now, those should just slide out. It still had some meat to it, but we're going to go ahead and replace it anyways. Next, before you take out this other pad right here, you're going to want to press it back. So you have yourself a C-clamp, and we're going to put the C-clamp on there and basically just push that piston back down to where it needs to go. Let's do that next. And then we're just going to tighten this down. And you're going to watch that piston move back into the uh, cylinder, the caliper. Otherwise, you'll never get your new pads installed because that's what moves your pads closer to the rotor when you hit the brake pedal. Make sure it's seated all the way in there. And you'll know it's because you won't be able to move your C-clamp any farther. And right about there, all the way back in there now. Now we can loosen the clamp up and pull out that pad. Pulls right out, just like that. Okay, now if that piston's back in, let's grab our new brake pads. So here's our caliper. Now we've pushed back the piston. We're now ready to install the pads. Here's our brake kit. Whole package right there. It also comes with the clips. Those clips are right here. Now, they are a pain in the butt to take off. So if yours are rusty and bad, replace them. But if not, just put some other lube on there and leave them in B. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to put these in a bag for somewhere else. Let's get our uh, pads back in our caliper. So remember that the paw one is the one that goes into the piston side. Remember, it's going to go in like this. So that's the, the bottom I said here, the top. It should go in just like that. 
Now, in our package, we got some of this little lube. We're going to take the lube, and we're going to just put it around here, because that's where the circle part is going to push and ride onto there. So let's open this up, and let's get that applied. Okay, and there's our pad. I'm just going to pour a little bit off of this lube on there. That side, and then just go around and coat it up just like that, and then slip her in. <clears throat> there it is. Hopefully, you caught that. Um, it takes a little bit of force, but you know, it'll go. Next is your outside one, it rides with the chambered this way. Remember, you had to push the clip down in order to pull it out. So that's its orientation, the way it's going to go in over here. So now let's leave up our pad knowing this is where it's going to ride into here. And that's what you don't want. You want that scraping noise. So we'll lube up this right here. Okay. And then just smear that around where it's going to ride at. Also, since your fingers are uh, have that lube on it, go ahead and lube up these down here and up there. Make sure those get some lubrication on it as well for when these pads are moving. Sweet. Now, the key is, is two little tabs. Those tabs are going to those holes. So it's pretty safe just to take them, slide it on, and push down. It's in. So, put the caliper on now. You want to go check the truck? Go we'll check the truck out. Dog wants to help do the brakes today. <laughs> All right, so, see this right here? Remember, we lubed that up. Well, right here on the lower brake outside is a little dip, and that's where that's going to go, too. So, when you set these into place, set that in there like that. And only one side, and they both have them? Yep. Set those into place. And then you can push the pad in. Make sure when you're going to put this on, these little boots here, that's what you're going to struggle with when you go to get this on, is that they are back behind these things here. So it's kind of like a little wrestling match. Get your pin on the bottom. Make sure these are pushed back. Like that. There. And that one down there is good. You heard it clip in. Sweet. Now, take your bolts. And I always put a little bit of anti-seize on my bolts when I reinstall them. You can buy anti-seize just about anywhere you want. You can put some anti-seize on your bolts. Doesn't need a lot. And stick them into place. Bolt them down. You've just replaced the brake pads on the back of your Nissan Titan. So you've taken your brake caliper off. Now you've got to take off this rotor. It's probably stuck on there. It's probably rusted on there, too. Okay, I'm going to use some PB Blaster. Let this soak and penetrate. Go ahead and get all those, because that's what's going to go around. And then here... Just making sure. Yep. I think I'll go grab me a drink. All right. We'll let that sit for a little bit. Get your hammer. Kind of tap on it. Oh, you can already see it's moving now. And then just pull it right off. There it is. Yeah, she's off. Now, what you're looking at back here, this is your parking brake shoe when you uh, pull up on your emergency brake. These pads here go out like that and hold the rotor and the 
shut into place. So we're not replacing those. Typically, we don't replace those. So we're just gonna clean this all down with some brake clean, dry it up, clean it up, and we'll get our new rotor and get it installed. Okay, now we'll spray this down. And wipe it down. We have our new rotor, and we're gonna make sure that we wash down the back side of this as, too, as well with our uh, cleaner here. Just spray it down. Clean it really good. Because you will not be able to clean it once uh, you get everything installed. And if I was you, I'd put a little bit of NACs right in here where all that rides. So next time it's not as difficult to fix. And here's when you get to be a kid again. And finger paint. Get some around the lugs for the lug nuts. And get that hub. Awesome. Now, in your hands. Now, when it comes time to install the new rotor, do your best not to touch that middle section we just cleaned because once it goes on you can't get there <sighs> line up the bolt holes and you can tell where the rust was that's probably not seated all the way back is it it's up against that there it is Neutral better row. Cool. Now, we're going to take our spray again and we're going to clean this front side and on that back side where our fingerprints were. Okay, now, time to install the caliper. Line those bolt holes up, you'll fill and grab. Just makes life a little easy. Good, and then down here. And then I just, a little bit of tightness. You don't have to go overboard on this. Just make sure it's nice and good and snug. Okay, caliper is down, it's locked in. It should move, and we're good to go. Well guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this week's Titan Tuesday video. How easy is it to do a brake job and a new rotor replacement on your Titan? Super easy first gen video. If you liked it, please hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and we'll see you again soon for another Titan Tuesday video. Have a good one.